here's here's an idea. I want the leading edge of these to come out of that, so it'll it'll continue this curve, which is started by this this piece attaching up front. Pull this one out. Uh, wait a second, that's making kind of an ugly joint right there, isn't it? Let's. Hmm. Suppose I could pull the whole wing assembly even further for. Ah, uh, maybe I should just drop this obsession with getting that all lined up correctly. Here's a thought. Hang on, let's go over here, aerodynamic tab. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay, that matches the curve fairly nicely. Except now I wasn't thinking, or I wasn't remembering. Whenever I pull this piece out, it's going to start showing up inside of that outlet. Inside of that inlet. Outlet. Inlet! Yes, yeah, it's an inlet. It's not an outlet. These are outlets. That's an inlet. <laughs> Still, I think we can make that work. Okay, I'm liking its look so far. This is going to be a a a, a pretty vehicle. I'm thinking of other things that I could do with these outlets. I mean, I maybe I don't even need to do this whole piece here. Let's just take a look. What does it look like? Especially because it's causing me problems. If I just get rid of that thing entirely. We go with our big out, big air inlet. Just stick that thing way up here. Um, it causes problems that way, doesn't it? Let's get rid of that. Uh, I think we're not going to use those. I think we're going to use these. We'll, atta we'll attach them on top of the wing surface. Yeah, okay, but we will use... The, uh, these to round out the leading edge of the wing where it meets, meets in the fuselage. Good. Do I want to go ahead and me see? I'm thinking if I if I ins go ahead and install the. Fuel. I think what I'm going to do, yes, I do want to go ahead and put the, the rocket fuel, the liquid fuel for our OMS engines. I'll go ahead and mount those in here as well. And, and and even though it's a point where it'll be very difficult to click on them to turn them on and off, however, I'm thinking, if I understand correctly, we can use the TAC fuel balancer to, to help solve this problem. I think maybe let's take a look at moving our our whole wing assembly forward some. Yeah, about like that. Now I'll go in and we'll reattach these guys. All our struts reconnect. That was nice of them. I think I like this. Yeah, here let's move that out like that. Okay, now the goal that I was looking for with the earlier where the leading edge of the wing blends into the that curve right there. That that is what I was looking for. So now these engines are hanging too far back. Okay, how much room we got to play with with these parts right there? It means there's no fuel in that. So I, I don't mind clipping parts together, but <clears throat> blatant cheating, like having two tanks of fuel coexist in the same place, uh, we'll try to avoid that. You know, let's scoot this assembly forward again. Hello? Hello? What is it like this? That's about what I It's flaming noises. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think... Well, actually, both the center of mass and the... the... Um, 
the center lift are wrong at this point. That would be a bug. I don't believe you. Go away. You're lying to me. Hello? Hello? Go away. <laughs> okay, let's get back into... Let's do some more of these procedural wings. the looks of that. Okay. Yeah, so we have those engines. Those, those blended in fairly nicely. We've got good room for, to put control surfaces there. Uh, this is bugged. I do not believe it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a way. Do I want to just have... Yeah, let's just have a fairly straight leading... Yeah, fairly straight leading edge. I'm trying to kind of round those off a little bit. I uh, don't... I think we're even going to leave it fairly flat across like this. We don't really, not going to play any games with dihedral at the moment. Uh, let's take a look at our control surfaces. Yeah, these guys. Let's blend that in like that. This thing's bugging me. The the docking port, the B9 docking. As much as I like a whole lot of the B9 aerospace stuff, this thing, this particular piece, is ugly. And I do not like having any ugly on my spaceships, on my, on my, uh, I suppose ugly is okay on the spaceships, what I meant to say, I don't like having any ugly on my airplanes. I got a different idea about how to handle the, here we go, how to handle a docking port. So stick that thing on there like that. Yeah, that's mirrored. Uh, let's stick a, uh, just a regular nose cone in the front of that thing. Like the, uh, hang on, Alt-Z, let's turn the clipping on. See the advantage. This thing is actually going to have two docking ports, one in each side. How about that? Huh? So we can dock it to like two different spaceships, and we'll need just the usual, just a normal. Yeah, this thing here. If I can stick that in the side on the end, and it's here. We'll pull it up here in order to work on it. Would you just clip onto there? Quit arguing about it. There we go. Good. Now, turn the gear back on. Doesn't that look pretty cool? Yeah, that looks kind of fat. I wonder if I could actually extend this out to... Here, let's take a look. If we ease it forward so it kind of blends into that curve. No, that doesn't really work, does it? Now we'll push it back. Not that far. Okay, now we have a couple of docking ports. Two docking ports, probably better than one. Uh, let me see here. And they're also, they'll be away from the, the uh, cargo bay, so we can dock to things and not have anything obstructing that cargo bay up, uh, up top whenever that opens up. Another thing I was thinking about doing, see, I was, I was wondering about the the air intake that we're going to use for, yeah, yeah for these. See, so what are our options for air intake? We've got these guys. I like them. They're very, uh, you know, kind of small and unobtrusive parts. They do, it will work. However, it just kind of looks wrong uh, the scale wise to have the in the air intake be that much smaller than our exhaust the proportions really bother me on the other hand if we go to this other larger piece we can also surface attach and we put one of those on there uh it, it where's where's my graceful curves man why is that thing so ugly i don't like it um, let's, let's not be working with that. I have this other idea. Okay. So I want to, I want to take these other, yeah, these guys, the ones that I've used before. Yeah, 
the shot cone intakes. I want to figure out a way to kind of blend them into the forward curve. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to go back to this 1.25 meter, just a structural fuselage part. Stick that onto there. I'll go in and get my tail piece because I'm going to uh, kind of mimic, I'm going to have the thing kind of blend in, look like it's going to duct, uh, duct air in through the wings. So if I can stick that on the end, please stop here. Move this over here just for now so I can stick the tail piece in the end. Good. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, here, let's stick the actual air intake on there as well. Hello? Hello? Oh, there. there we go. There we go. Good. Okay, take this. Turn that mirror, mirroring on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button a whole bunch of times to kind of blend it in to the side. See what that does for us. Ooh, I kind of like the looks of it. Yeah, I like the looks of that, so we'll need four total because we have four engines. Ooh, that's real attractive, yeah. And it isn't uh, just sticking it, sticking way out in the outside, you know? Let's copy that. See if we can make it match or pay, pay attention to where that point is. About like that. Let's actually take the one up top and ease it forward just a little bit. So I just want these to match. I want them to look fairly identical. Yeah, good. Oh, I like that. That looks real good to me. So we don't, yeah, we don't ruin the the, the streamlining and we've got air intakes up in front that looks extremely cool to me okay so yeah there's a couple of ideas that I was dealing with let's do some struts because we like having things strutted down if you don't strut them down they'll wobble and they start wobbling it's potential for them to break and that's just generally bad news all right, now, see, this This isn't my final shape for those wing. I want to put some more curves into it. Um, maybe angle it back some. And we're, okay, let's move this in. Because I want this to, this is going to kind of, this is going to come down here. It's going to curve out. We'll have kind of a rounded tip. And we'll also put some dihedral so it'll it'll curve up slightly. First, we'll, we'll put together the wing as as being flat, this like like horizontally flat, and we'll get a good curve, like a two-dimensional curve, and then we'll go and we'll you know, curve, it, put the dihedral on it. Do I want this to come angling back some like that, maybe? Oh, there's a thought. Ooh, there's a thought. There's a good thought. We don't have these hanging all the way up. Hang on, let's just move this in here like this. Make certain that tip's not showing up inside that exhaust. Increase the tip size, move it like this. Oh yeah, I like this idea. Yeah, I like this idea. Okay, we'll leave that piece about like that. Yet one more piece of strutting right here. Yes, I, I strut too much. I know it. It makes me feel like safe and secure. I feel like nothing can go wrong if it has enough struts. Yeah, except that that piece isn't connecting. All right, we'll just ignore that piece for now. There we go. Okay, save what I have so far. Rock has definitely taken shape. Yeah, those will be good. And that, and we also will leave the, this, the top hatch of the crew tank unobs unobstructed. 
So that'll be a, a benefit. Just curious, we can do another strut right here in order to give it some more uh, rigidity from here so the front end doesn't wobble, isn't prone to wobbling. Keep on working on this wing shape. This wing shape is going to be exceptionally cool, you know that? Yeah, so we got a slight curve here, and then it'll curve back the other way. And that, that looks like that is big enough for our control surfaces, right? Go with these 4 meter control surface. Oh, hang on. I wonder if I should... Yeah, there's a way I can sort of blend this control surface in. If I had to do this, if I... Ease that back a little bit right there. Hold down right click. Good, that, and it doesn't match the. It doesn't match automatically match the the control the size that control surface. Yeah, about like that. Oops, I forgot to hold down right click, didn't I? Good. Okay. Okay, now. Move this. Oh, see, as soon as I started messing around with the adjusting it, things went weird. behaving itself this time though, so that's good. Okay, shrink the tip down. Ease its thing back there like that. Yeah, I like that. You notice it has, like, significantly more wing area relative to the fuselage than this previous shuttle. So that should, should, in theory, help solve some of these problems that the other one is giving me, you know? Okay, and let's do this here, and this will be the actual wing tip. So we'll drop that down to a very small point. curve that'll kind of blend in both the tra trailing edge and leading edge. Yeah, about like that. Ooh. I think I like it. 